for. So how do you how do you choose kind of or figure out what you're going to do with a song to give it that that Jeff spin where it's like you've taken the original, you've honored the original, but you've made it totally different in some way or added some huge section that was was never there. How do you go about finding those things to change? Some of those things um, come about naturally. And uh, both both Lane and myself come from a we we listened to um, to uh, Rockapella for decades. Yeah, you know, and we we were just we were very very so like their their main arranger Scott Leonard, um, who's a phenomenal vocalist, great arranger, great original songwriter. Um, people who don't know Rockapella, please look them up. They're so good. Uh, they are. <laughs> we uh we took <clears throat> cues from their arranging style which is why you will probably never you don't hear a lot of like what's the word i'm looking for like you know like if you listen well no, i was gonna say like if you if you uh if you listen to like collegiate acapella and there's nothing wrong with collegiate acapella collegiate acapella is great uh yeah but but you will hear a lot of like weird inventive syllables that maybe just aren't the right choice <laughs> like people trying to imitate electric guitars like mm. and they're going wow 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 and you're like what am i listening to so <laughs> we we tried to we always try to keep things tasteful and creative and one of the things that scott leonard does and did so well is he would generally speaking in his arrangements he would write little extra pieces that that went in the song that that were not part of the original but they helped bridge um gaps where instrumentation would have been or your your ear wants to hear it but he gives you something completely new to listen to and so that really influenced i think both i can't speak for lane but i'm going to say it probably influenced him i know it influenced me so when when i'm doing songs like um like 16 tons or uh, Big Bad John or uh, House of the Rising Sun. Like there's no, there's no bridge. There's no chorus. It's just these songs like repeat. There's like, there's like an, an A section and like a B section and then wash, rinse, repeat for three or four minutes. So yeah. I, I could have just done that and that would have been fine. But like, what's going to separate people have heard this music have heard this music for decades yeah. <laughs> centuries in some cases you know so it's like i right. gotta do something different to separate this arrangement from what everybody else has heard and so uh i will just sit down and be like i'll just sit and be like um uh, okay so this this uh is it uh how surprised you no like ain't no sunshine it's a good example yeah um, yeah everyone knows ain't no sunshine and there's no uh there's no course there is a very long bridge for that one that i know i know i know mm -hmm. i know i know i'm like well right. what can i what can i do with that that would that could be a chorus um and then also like what works over the top of that as like a thing that's melodic and catchy so that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um yeah so like, exactly yeah as you just you just sit in a room and you talk to yourself and you sing everything you can think of until you come up with something and then you put it down. I mean, awesome. That's awesome. Kind of how it works.